Welcome to Forrest's short video on how to install a fence. For this project, you'll need two people, but the time it takes will depend on how much fencing you have to install. You'll also need the following tools. A string line, a spade, a fence post, some hard core or gravel, some post mix cement, a spirit level, timber battens, fence panels, gravel boards, post caps, finials if desired, U brackets, L brackets and screws. Take a spade and dig a hole about 600 millimeters deep and 300 millimeters square. The actual depth will depend on the height of the post you are using. As a rule of thumb, you should have a quarter of the total post height in the ground. If the ground is really difficult to dig out, it might be worth investing in a bar and specialist post hole spade. You can buy these at most merchants. When the hole is finished, fill the bottom with about an inch of gravel or hardcore. This will help with drainage and reduce the risk of the post rotting in the future. Put the post into the hole. Gradually fill the hole with the dry post fix cement, packing it down while continually checking the level of the post with your spirit level. Fill the hole to about an inch from the top. This is so that when the job is finished, you can cover the top of the cement with soil. Pour water over the cement. Screw a couple of battens to the posts to make sure that they remain securely upright all the time checking the levels. These battens can be removed when the cement has set. Once your first post is in, you're now ready to mark out the line of your fencing. Using a string line, unwind the string and passing it in front of your post, take it where you want the fencing to end and stake it into the ground. Now you're ready to fix your next post. Using a batten, cut to the same width as your fence panel mark where your next post needs to go and fix it using the same method as before. If you're installing a dip treated fence panel, you will need to use a pressure treated gravel board at the base of the panel to protect it against rot. Fix the gravel board by first marking and pre-drilling the posts. Then fix one L bracket at the base of each post using a drill or electric screwdriver. When they are just about tight enough, you'll need to locate the final position of the brackets by hand using an adjustable spanner. Fix the gravel boards through the brackets with 20 mm screws. Now you're ready to fix the fence panel. This time, attach two U brackets to the inside of each post by marking out positions about 10 to 15 centimeters from the top and bottom of the fence panel. When your brackets are fixed, carefully lift your panel into place and secure it through each bracket. If you're adding trellis to the top, you should have left yourself enough space at the top of the posts. Attach one U bracket to the inside of each post about midway between the top and bottom of the trellis. Fix the brackets with 35 mm screws. Slot your trellis in place and fix with 35 mm screws through the brackets. The last job to do is to finish each fence post with a post cap. This will help to protect the end grain of the wood from taking in water, but at the same time, it provides a neat finish to your posts. For a final decorative flourish, why not add a ball or acorn finial to your finished fencing? For more how-to videos, visit forestgarden.co.uk, the UK's favourite garden timber supplier.